Y'all got some connections that were missed? This is r slashed mi slashed slash miss connections. It's a subreddit where people go and they post uh, about hey, I saw this person or I had this experience, but we didn't get to link up with numbers or I don't know how to contact them. Can the internet help me find this person? Now, before we continue, I am part of a podcast called Red Lips Orange Car with Alana Pierce. Uh, and the first episode is up right now. So go in the link in the description. There's probably multiple links, um, but you can check out the podcast now. Um, we will have new episodes up very soon. Um, but yeah, very fun. I'm super, super pumped to be a part of it. Um, so go and check it out. Links will be below. But anyway, let's get into it. So I'll start on Reddit, but also I want to go to, um, because a lot of them happen on Craigslist too. Um, and I know that specifically there's a main uh, sub list of Craigslist posts on uh the misconnections things on craigslist so we'll go there too let's start out i just did top of all time because i felt like it so <laughs> the subject line is you farted in kroger yesterday male m4w31 i don't know what that means age 31 you were the tall brunette with a near perfect body that farted right in the bread section last night i was the tall guy next to you that looked over and asked was that you you quickly replied no it wasn't me you almost seem insulted that i would ask as the stink grew. You continued to deny your flatulence, but it was evident. I tried to get rid of the stench by waving two loaves of ciabatta bread. You proceeded to storm off in, anger, in an angry manner. You're beautiful, and even if you're a liar and fart like a Clydesdale, I'd love to meet up. I don't know if this is the way. Also, I want to know the amount of people that have made a post specifically like this, where it was like, I saw you in the bread aisle and you farted, and they actually managed to, uh, to meet up with these people that they found. I would love to know how many people have done that. Trying to find Joe. Joseph on the left is my good friend and we found this last night i know it's a long shot but does anyone know op joe i mean i mean it's a white dude with a beard and long hair and he's and he's flexing and he has a thing on so i mean you know i don't think they look exactly the same but also like i don't i don't know you take any white dude put a beard on him and long hair he's they're probably gonna look similar you know help me find my childhood friend she lived in georgia for a little while as a kid and that's when we met she moved back to japan around 2002 to 2004 her name is natuki her parents gave me a fold out a hello kitty card when they moved to thank me for being her friend i saw this on twitter and they actually managed to uh i don't know if it's in the comments but they actually managed to find each other which is really cute there was a scenario just like this maybe this is what i'm thinking of oh it is this that i'm thinking of it was a different post i thought that this was the one i guess not but yeah they uh they found each other on twitter which is super super cute i met this girl on a on a dinner cruise in hawaii in 2006 we were basically best friends for that night so i need y'all to help me find my best friend because i miss her and i need to know how she's doing please retweet so we can be reunited heard you were looking for me so cute so cute i love that i love the internet help me find this guy we both accidentally took pictures of each other and i want to find the one from his perspective so you don't even want to be friends you just want to find that person we went on a tinder date two years ago and you bit me Amanda, I drove 45 minutes while it was snowing to see you for our Tinder date. You are a complete weirdo, but also nice enough that I figured I'd go through with a date. Your house is really cool, too. Went to your ho the house? The first date? Damn. I sold you reefer. You said you would PayPal me. E I even saw you type in my info. Then while we were mid in conversation, you fucking bit me. Not in a sexy way, just fucking raw XD. Bit me on the arm while I was talking. I knew it was time to bail, so I texted my friend... Uh, telling him to fake uh, having a flat tire on the side of the highway so I'd have an excuse to leave. You never paid pal me, Amanda. You blocked my number. Amanda, you owe me $80 for disco spinach, Amanda. <laughs> All I know about you is your address. So sometimes when I spam mail things, ask for me to fill something out, I put your address down, hoping your mailbox gets flooded with BS. If this sounds like you, reach out to me and we can settle this. I won't apologize for sending spam mail to your house. What the hell? That's so... 
weird. You get that $80 back. Maybe buy a rabies shot. Who knows she, what she gave you when she bit you. There's a sub for that, you know, to ask for money help. I didn't know that. R slash borrow if interested. What? I didn't know this at all. People wanting to... A user who didn't have enough karma to be a lender here took a risk and loaned me 800 uh, Canadian off the books, which has been repaid. I just want to express my gratitude. That's really nice. $1,200 a year and a half late. Finally got to mark this one as paid. Wow, that's really nice that people are just lending people money. All right, cool. Like $80 is a lot of money, but it's not like a insane amount of money. I feel like I would just probably let it go at this point instead of just losing your mind over trying to find this person. Also, if you know their address, maybe send them a letter. Don't show up at their house because that's weird. But like maybe I don't, I don't know, dude. I would just let it go at that point. Guy who also saw Star Wars with his parents. I'm going to throw this out into the universe and see what happens. Came out of the Cobb Theater in Wesley Chapel with my parents at the same time as you came out with yours. You held the door open for us as we joked about taking our parents out. As we both parted, we looked back. You had glasses were tall and extremely handsome hoping the force brings us together somehow update he posted on craigslist misconnections guys i found him i love that oh my god <sighs> I messaged him on Craigslist with a copy of this post and my number. After a few texts, we said f*** it and met up for a drink. We just spent the last three hours playing darts at a random bar. I want- I want an update! Oh no, I want an update so bad! I want to know what happened. Are they still together? This is three months ago. This is semi-recently. I want to know if they're still together or not! Fart wench. <laughs> what is it with people farting? You farted in Space Mountain, Orlando. You were the tall brunette with nearly perfect body that farted in the yellow line last night. I was a tall guy next to you that looked over and asked, no, this you, you stole it. You stole this. Looking for the woman I met at the blood, at the blood drive in Scranton Business Park. I was depressed because it was the first Valentine's Day since I broke up with my HR representative girlfriend. I met you in the van and we were donating blood. You said you couldn't talk because you were nervous but then you didn't stop talking told you that i felt like a human juice box hawaiian blood punch with blood type of ocean spray we both finished at the same time that's what she said and i wanted to talk more but i hadn't eaten anything and passed out from blood loss when i came to you were gone i was disappointed but i found you the glove you left behind i was hoping you would come back for it so i took it with me i went back upstairs in my office and had the idea to throw a lonely singles party i thought maybe you'd come so i grabbed my best salesman in the in my office and printed flyers which also advertised you're missing i thought i could cure my loneliness by having cupid's arrows uh by having cupid's arrows fly someone would take cupid's uh arrow to the heart when my party started my salesman met a great lady and they struck up a conversation on uh how much paper she uses he seemed to like that my accountant met someone at the party too it was good for him since his fiance le recently met left him i think he even asked if she was on email i was pretty sad he didn't show up to the party so I decided to let my staff go home early. For the first time in forever, they didn't want me to be sad, so they hung out with me. Some party straggler showed up, though, and I had to throw her out. What a lame-o. Anyway, I hope you see this and connect. This is so, so great. I love this so much. If you get it, you get it. If you know, you know. I was the woman in your elevator game? Visiting an apartment block of a friend of mine in Sydney when I overheard some people talking outside of the entrance of a building. A group of three young men were talking about the elevator game, a common horror game slash story slash challenge I've seen around and read before. Though I do not surprisingly know the entire game off by heart, there is a notable step in the game. On the fifth floor, a young woman who is not who she seems walks in, supposedly sig signifying the ritual is working. I, being a woman and a creep, thought it would be funny if I played the part of said person. So before they entered the lobby, I ran into one of the elevators and went to the fifth floor and waited. It took longer than I expected with a couple false alarms, but eventually the elevated, uh, elevator door did stop at the fifth floor and the three guiles, one of which was holding a camera. I stepped into the elevator and the looks on the f their faces were priceless. It took all the skills learned in my awful high school drama class not to immediately start bursting out cry laughing. They looked like a tri trio of meerkats, an entire family of deer caught in the headlights. Being a tiny lass, I had never seen such concentrated fear directly at my presence. In summary, it was dope. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Terry, I know you stole my baseball glove. 
The year was 1998. You were on the Tornadoes baseball team in Broomfield, Colorado. I was on the second base after being up to bat. I watched you take my baseball glove and put it in your bag. I know we were six, but you're a dick. I hope you see this little glove-stealing six-year-old <coughs> get fucked, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Craigslist in Maine and let's see misconnections. Here we go. Sweat Lodge Warrior. All right, here we go. I'll open. I'll open a few of them. Sweat Lodge Warrior. I truly believe you are psychotic and I hope you get some mental health help. You really have a problem. What? Sweat Lodge War? What happened? Re, you broke me. I do still love you, but I feel like you're a million miles away. I feel like if I quit you, it would break me too. So I'm in this limbo where I want everything to work out with us, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Is there a first part of this? Is there a... You broke me? Wait, you broke me. Yes. Still hard to tell if you still love me or not. I know I love you, but I still feel like I need to stop. You told me you love me even after you broke my heart. You told me you cared about me. But when you went cold, but then you went cold like I'm nothing to you. I wonder if you're happy without me. I wonder if you've met someone else. I wonder if we'll ever talk again. Okay. Do people use Craigslist like a social media? Because if you have this stuff, why? But because it's hard to tell if you still love me. I would assume that if you're in love with somebody, you have... Because is this a missed connection? Like, I would assume that you would know what... Uh -huh. They would have each other's contact information, right? Why are they- <laughs> This isn't- It hurts my brain. After everything I've done for you, you spilled my heart. Uh, and spilled my heart to you, told you how I feel about you, you still shut me out of your life. I don't know why I miss you. This is just sad. Cumbies Gas Pump. Cumbies is a gas station. Cumberland Farms. You were pumping gas on Wednesday night. I made a comment on your gloves. You made a very nice- you are a very nice and beautiful woman. If you see this, tell me what you were driving. See, this just seems creepy. This doesn't seem like romantic or cute or anything. It just seems creepy. I am going to marry you. The sooner you get off your ego trip, the sooner we can begin using our unique combination of skill sets to help those whom we are born to help. What? This is what? Okay, okay, sure. Anyone have a tanning bed? This is what? Looking for someone that might have a tanning bed and want to rent some sometime? This shouldn't be in misconnections. Do you know? No. I saw the tanning bed, hoping to find it again. There we were, six feet apart. Oh my God, it's, it's a quarantine love story. I was at the green pharmacy, standing six feet away, eyeing the specials and you draped across the counter, but wearing gloves. You were wearing tan khakis and a red coat, being sociable, while I stockpiled meds, I finally got my I finally got my turn to belly up to the counter, and you were like six feet, and I cackled and replied, "I hope you really didn't think I was yelling. That's how I talk. Anyway, if you aren't quarantined with anyone special, maybe we can get to know each other and survive the plague." I wouldn't say that you should quarantine with a stranger because. Uh, doesn't seem like a good idea. We actually talked about this very specific scenario, not this exact thing, but a very similar thing in the podcast. So again, go in the link down below uh, and check out the podcast. Um, and let me know also, have you ever gone on misconnections to try and find somebody? Did it work? Did somebody try and find you on misconnections? Let me know. Anyway, that is Reddit slash Craigslist misconnections. Let me know what you think about the connection. I think it's creepy and weird, to be completely honest. Some of them are sweet, like, hey, I I lost my friend when we were young. I can't remember who they are, blah, blah, blah. Help me find them. I think that's cute. But being like, I saw you from six feet away. You were wearing a red jacket, and I want to find out where you live. I think that's weird and creepy. Let me know. See you tomorrow. What is that?